2013 is on track to be a record breaking year in homicides. In 2012, numbers were low, but in more than 80% of the homicides where police have named a suspect, it's someone who's been arrested before. On May 26, 2012, 17-year-old Kayla Ferrante was shot and killed while driving home from a party with her boyfriend. Police called a case of mistaken identity. The suspect, 24-year-old Edwin Daniels, is facing first-degree murder charges. And it's not the first time he's found himself behind bars. Daniels has a drug conviction, another for transporting a loaded firearm, and several charges that were dismissed after witnesses would not testify. Because of that, he's considered a nonviolent offender. You look in their past, and we're not surprised. It's, we see their reports, we see their names, we know they're armed, they've been armed in the past. It doesn't surprise us that they're armed now and that they, their bullets finally found the mark. Homicide Detective Sergeant Dave Walker tells me harsher penalties for unlicensed firearms and felons with guns could make a difference in stopping these crimes before they happen. I would like to see them warehoused where that particular person cannot get hold of a gun and do harm to anybody in Tulsa for the next number of years. Assistant Tulsa County District Attorney Doug Drummond says those penalties are already in place, but the suspects don't always do the time they get. We encourage all our prosecutors on gun crimes, that'd be firearm after former conviction of a felony or other types of firearm charges, they would relieve at least some end time in jail or prison. The perpetrators may be getting out faster than police and prosecutors would like. For example, if you'd send someone down on an eight-year case, eight years in prison, they're not going to serve eight calendar years. It may be three or four. There's also the tough job of knowing when or if someone who's committed a nonviolent crime will become violent. Typically, we get probation on nonviolent crime if it's a drug offense or something like that. And then while they're on probation, they go out and they commit murder. And sometimes that's very difficult to understand for that, that family and for us. Sergeant Walker wants to start keeping tabs on the suspects he thinks have the potential for violence. We have to use our experience. Like you said, we, we sit across the table from the worst of the worst. Uh, and, and at 15, if you show no conscience uh, or ability to communicate or won't take responsibility for what's going on, uh, we can kind of say, we'll see you again. Walker says it will take more than police action to make Tulsa safer. Witnesses need to speak up. He referenced Daniels and those charges prosecutors dropped in the past because people didn't talk. Could we have intervened in his life? Uh, sure, we tried. We tried. Uh, but he was so intimidating, the witnesses wouldn't show up. So that's where, you know, the public needs to get involved. Sergeant Walker says this year the department plans on stepping up enforcement to keep tabs on potential violent offenders. He's dubbed it the year of the shadow. Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.